that the government is introducing new legislation to get more power. But, do we trust the government with more power? Because I am in the greatest country and the reason it, it attracts all the people from the whole world is because of the freedom. Yeah. Freedom! The one thing that all politicians fear more than anything else in the world is informed voters. And that's what this is here. What this shows is the start of a movement where people are paying attention to politics in a way they have not done for probably decades. Here, who obviously can see the bigger picture about what's going on here. Because it's not just about a jab or no jab. Yes. And the ridicule that you have all faced in the media from the government to see through that crap and to still be here and still be strong and fighting this good fight. You people are the ones who are going to be remembered. migrant in this country or you come from Eastern Europe or you come from other third world countries where freedom is limited and you have decided out of ignorance to support Daniel Andrew then what you are encouraging is to make Daniel Andrew turn Victoria into the state that you ran away from. to stop anyone, no matter who you are, understanding how politics works and how to make your vote count. And the way to make that count is to vote them out.
to maintain love. You just need to love. You just need to do what you are doing right now. For the sake of everything that is good about us, that is sacred, do not let Dan Andrews push our democracy over the edge into totalitarianism! All Australian citizens have the right to cross the soils of our nation. That's right! Yeah. Across all boundaries and limits to access the seat of government. To Look around you, every single person here. There are people of every race. There are people of every religion. There are people that are standing here, united, together. For is very simple. No state of emergency, no mandatory vaccinations, and no more Daniel Andrews. <laughs> Emergency powers in the hands of the Premier. We cannot let this bill pass. We must stop it. Kill the bill! Kill the bill!